Later today, the evening reporters might need a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, it depends on where you are, mm -hmm. too. So in Portland, we'll stay mostly dry for much of the day. Chance to see maybe a passing shower, but it's late tonight. We bring back the rain. The coast will likely see it a little before and even starting up already out there. It will likely be a wet day. Also for the coast, we'll be tracking king tides. So very strong and high tides pushing in. Take a look at this video uh, shot at Rockaway Beach. Uh, that's out in Tillamook County. Uh, you can see how far up those waves waves uh, crashed ashore and even dragging out that large log here. So imagine if you were an unsuspecting beachgoer on the shores and one of these waves uh, hits you and then pulls you out to sea. That has happened. So again, we're in this period through Wednesday where we'll see these very high tides and strong waves crashing ashore. Photographers love it, but the unsuspecting beachgoer may not and could see some dangerous conditions. So do be careful out there. Again, these king tides in place very strong tomorrow too all across the Oregon coast. Uh, right now we are tracking rain out towards the beaches. This is seaside. You can see that wet weather here on our weather cameras. Uh, we'll likely keep that rain in place all day today out towards seaside and Astoria. Meanwhile, in the valley, uh, not tracking rain just yet. Mid 40s, you may see a light shower passing on by at times today, but that is nothing compared to the persistent and heavy rain that we'll see tomorrow as our next weather system arrives. So here's that close in view of our satellite and radar. Cloudy skies, again, some showers out towards areas of the coast. Again, these showers may start to work into Portland as we head into our morning, uh, giving some light rain throughout much of today and into our afternoon. But that is nothing compared to this next weather system that is just off Sure. Here is the mouth of an atmospheric river uh, that is uh, bringing in some very heavy rain out towards areas of the Washington coast. Again, we'll see the system here starting to roll in and soon it'll drop some very heavy rain into our region and that likely arrives by about 9 or 10 in the evening. So as we head into our evening and overnight hours, we'll tap into that moisture here and some very soggy rainfall uh, throughout Tuesday. So forecast rain totals models are all generally saying around two inches or so as we head our way into Tuesday. Again, as we finish out our evening, not much rain yet. Meanwhile, out towards the coast all day, we'll start to stack up that rain in the gauge. So very wet day out towards areas of Astoria and Seaside today. Not so much in Portland, but overnight. Again, those totals just climb here as we tap into that moisture. So again, this model showing over two inches of rain just by the end of tomorrow. This leaves concerns to flooding and also rivers and creeks rising, causing roadway floodings, also landslides or debris flow from uh, this heavy rain, mainly for areas and canyons and the foothills of the Cascades and Coast Range uh, that see that very heavy rain. So we'll be tracking this into Wednesday, this flood watch in place going into effect late tonight here in Portland uh, through the morning on Wednesday as that heavy rain works on through. So here's our future cast. There's that atmospheric river and that tongue of moisture it starts to flow. And by the time we hit 9 or 10 p.m., I think will start up that very persistent heavy rain that continues all day Tuesday when we could see over an inch and a half to about two inches of rain just in Portland, much more for the coast. And again, that rain also will likely hit down the valley. Salem, Eugene also picking up some good amounts too. By Wednesday morning, the system works out the door, so we do start to dry out. And so far, Thursday looks dry at this point. Snow levels also hiking up with this system. We'll see very warm air from the south pushing up uh, those snow levels to about six to 7,000 feet by the time we hit Tuesday. Wednesday, a bit of cooling. I think uh, this is a bit generous on how much cold air we'll see. So our snow level is likely staying at least around 5,000 feet and higher uh, for much of this week. That means some of that snow will likely melt off up in the mountains and do prepare for a very wet and uh, stormy day tomorrow for uh, the mountains, likely skiing over some very wet snow and even rainfall uh, come Tuesday. So keep in mind today we'll stay mainly cloudy out there. Good ski day. There's your view up north out of Ridgefield, still a dry, dry drive on I-5 there. Uh, we'll see afternoon rain showers pushing in evening rain here in Portland. Highs around the 50s today by tomorrow. That rain really picks up. We'll see gusty winds out there too and warm temperatures in the upper 50s on Tuesday. Carly. Well, this traffic alert we have 